McPherson Ranch is our destination for this next episode. We have two hunts, a whitetail management hunt and then an exotic hunt. I'm with my good friend, Daniel Sowell. Daniel and I get out there early to see the markings of a good buck on the trees. That's a good sign. Stalking an animal is always harder, but it always is more hot action. Morning hunt? Waiting out the daybreak? Will we find a shooter? Only time will tell. Stay tuned. I've got some right here. This is all fresh. Yeah, these broken sticks. Yeah. Everybody's been sitting there rubbing his horns on these bushes. Mm -hmm. Daniel teaches us what to look for when stalking a buck, how to find and discern the markings of deer in the brush. Yeah, these are all fresh rubs. This is how they mark their territory. You got a really, really good dominant buck in this spot. You can really see how he's, he's torn all this up. You can see right here where he's been rubbing. Yep, right here. You can see over there. I mean, he's, he's really gotten this spot right here. Shoot him tight. Get it broken here, broken here. And come right here up along this rim right here. So this is this is no what you're looking for. You're looking for signs for some big deer. Generally, the bigger the branch, the bigger the deer. If you got a little, you know, a little eight pointer, he's going to start rubbing on a smaller bush. You get a real big dominant buck, and he's going to, you know, get some stuff that's really big in diameter. Definitely. You can tell that this is a recent scrape because uh, the, the leaves are still green on the broken branches. Mm -hmm. So if it was an older rub, you know, those, those leaves would be brown. That's a good sign. Yeah, he's got more, a lot more over here. He's got droppings. He's been marking this a lot. Hey, yeah, right there's a, a drop shed from a whitetail. Uh, you see those more frequently by fence lines because when they jump the fence lines, those antlers tend to fall off. So this is right by a, a fence line, so he probably just jumped that fence and then it fell off. They shed their antlers once every year. We waited in the blind all day for the buck that we had been stalking. And sure enough, in the afternoon, he shows up. And I took the shot. All right, taking the shot. Do you have a management buck hunting story? Identifying a buck, finding his pattern, and locating him in the field? Share in the comments below. Got some length to his tines. He's got some some thickness to him. He's an old deer. You can see a real chocolate there, big body. McPherson Ranch did us good. That's a good solid management eight. Uh, he's, he's a good management eight. Exactly what we're looking for. Uh, did a good job. Congratulations. Thanks, man. You're a good coach. Thank you. <laughs> McPherson's Lodge really makes you feel like you're on a hunt, but with full facilities. Also, skeet and rifle range, the food is outstanding, and they've even got a chef. Wow, what a place. The on-site cook was amazing, and the dining hall and game room were great. We watched a little football and warmed ourselves by the fire, and we ate really good. This was an amazing place.
It's an early morning, setting up the truck high-rise blind. We got it all cloaked, and we're seeing different groups of animals come up over the hill. We want an exotic trophy. Nothing yet. Daniel talks about the exotics on the ranch while we're waiting for the hunt to come together. Daniel, tell us about the different species of exotics that you've got out here on the ranch in Sonora. Well, this area is really hilly, and there's lots of Oddad, and Corsican, and uh, Mouflon, Fallow. All those deer like to stay on the ridges, and they like this area because it's really thick and some steep terrain. Those Corsican and Audad tend to come in from our left because there's a big ridge right here. There's a big bowl and it's real steep and they like that real steep terrain in that area so they'll stay on that ridge line. And then they'll come up and they'll, they'll drink water. So they usually come in from our left. We've seen a few white tail, even those fallow kind of have a little run right here. They uh -huh. like to go right back into the wood area there. They're coming from our left a little bit behind us, but they're coming out. That's right. They've got a pretty good game trail right here on our left side. It's on top of this plateau, but it's right next to that, that ridge. And it's a pretty good game trail. And they come straight into that water. The water source here is very important because it's a very arid climate here. There's not a lot of standing water anywhere. So water is a very key resource to have. And it's a good place to set up. Yeah, generally in this area, we've got lots of Audad and Corsican coming up to this part. It's a real high spot, which those sheep and goats like to stay on the high areas so they can see. You've got some axis out here too, but they stay down in the low draws. They stay they? down in the, the draws. Yeah, they they like it down in low low spots and then a lot more cover. Daniel at nine point white tail's looking hard to the left. Yeah, he's been looking for a while. I think something's coming in. Yeah, that's right. I bet something does come in. These deer will tell you what's going on there. They're often going to look right in the direction of something they heard. Sure enough, a herd of Corsican rams come up the hill, over the ridge, and there's a dominant shooter buck in the group. I see a good ram in there too. Oh yeah, looks like a young male and a good ram. And what, seven, eight females? Yeah, they're going straight to the water. Good deal. Good nice. ram. Good ram. Good hunt, baby. All right. All right. Let's go see him. Yeah. It's important whenever you're approaching a downed animal to come in from behind him. Make sure everything's safe. And we're good. All right. All That's right. a big ram right there. Of course he can. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pretty mane. Got good mass, good length. A perfect setup, came off this ridge, into the water, out into this field. Great hunt. Very good hunt. The wait was long, but the McPherson Ranch did not disappoint. A nice eight-point management buck and a Corsican ram. Do you have an exotic hunt story that you can share in the comments below? Also, check out this next video. It is hot. More hunting coming your way next.